Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last 100 years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. Um, so by now, I'm sure you've seen this. And the Biden White House is desperately trying to spin this as though, no, 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 he wasn't talking about Trump supporters. He he, he was talking about, about uh, uh, <laughs> the words that the other person was talking. It's like, stop. Just just stop. That There's really, and, and I'm again, you got to look at all of this in context. There's only one question that is relevant to this entire scenario. Why is Joe Biden on television while Kamala Harris is in his backyard doing her last big speech? Why did you go on television, Joe? To what end? I mean, seriously. He is completely and utterly irrelevant at this point. Why is he on television doing any interview about anything with five days, six days out? Now, now I don't typically do it like this, but I snatched this directly from the New York Times for a reason. Look at this. Biden appears to insult Trump supporters as garbage, but quickly tries to clarify. No, he's not trying to clarify. And you just saw it. That's why I played it. You just saw it. If you support Donald Trump, jo Joe Biden called you garbage. In a posting on social media, he didn't post anything on social media. Okay, stop. Joe Biden can't probably even use a phone. President Biden said he was talking about racist language, not Trump supporters. Um, I just, I, <laughs> there's a reason I showed you. That was his entire comment. Hold on a second, because it, 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 it gets better. This is the reason I snatched this from the New York Times, because I wanted you to see. This is the guy who actually wrote this piece of garbage. Zolan... Kano Young's, whatever, reporting from Washington. Now, he wants you to believe that Joe Biden wasn't talking about you, the Trump supporter. Look at this. President Biden on Tuesday denounced racist language at former President Donald J. Trump's recent rally, but appeared, appeared, it only appeared, he appeared to insult Trump supporters as garbage, prompting waves of criticism from Republicans. The White House quickly, they quickly, they quickly objected to that interpretation, interpretation. You're interpreting my words, calling you garbage wrong. <laughs> I, I, no, no, no. I, I, <laughs> the White House quickly objected to the interpretation of the president's remarks, arguing that he was instead describing the racist language as garbage, not Trump supporters. You know how dumb you have to be to actually believe that? This is him gaslighting you, telling you, no, no, no. Um, uh, um, I'm not spitting on you. That, 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 those are drops of rain as he's spitting on you. <laughs> okay? This is unbelievable. Mr. Biden issued a statement on social media. No, he didn't. N no, he didn't. It, it, it's, it's probably more probable. He doesn't even know what was posted on social media. Quote, earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about 
Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporters at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage. Hold on a second. So let's go back. Earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporter. You see why they do this? They're taking out the fact that comedian. See, they want you to believe this. This is just. This is just. A, 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 he was just a supporter. This is, this is just like an average guy. No. It was a comedian who's been doing roasts everywhere, and apparently he's really, really big, and he supports Donald Trump. He's a comedian. They leave that out. They have to leave it out. They can't call it, call him a comedian, because if they call him a comedian, then they can't use the word spewed. <laughs> they want to use the word spewed. Uh, 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 the rhetoric about Puerto Rico's spewed by a, you mean spewed by a comedian? That's why they can't use the word comedian. So they have to just say supporter because they want to use the word spewed. Supporter in Madison Square Garden as garbage, which is the only word I could think of to describe it, he wrote. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. Yes. Yes, yes. Donald Trump can't stand Latinos. Yes. Yes, yes. No, no, no. We really believe you, Joe. We really, really believe you. That he really, really just, he can't stand Latinos. Unbelievable. That's all I meant to say. The comments at the rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. But regardless of his intent, <laughs> they're one, they're ga this, is, this is gaslighting 101. What you saw, you didn't see. But regardless of his intent, Mr. Biden's words sparked backlash against his party and effectively moved the spotlight, at least temporarily, away from Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, now, here's the thing about this. This is really the only question that needs to be asked. By the way, Steve Bannon, fresh out of jail yesterday, started talking about election sabotage and violence and fomenting violence. And we're talking about where an apostrophe goes. Are you joking? No. Well, the White House is talking about the apostrophe goes. <laughs> yeah. And, and granted, tens of now, the apostrophe she's talking about is uh, they're, saying, they're trying to say that the White House meant the garbage word was meant for the actual racist. Like he's saying they didn't call the person. He's not calling the people garbage. No. He's the racist language he's, he was calling garbage. When you just saw, no, he wasn't. He was talking about Trump supporters. Okay. And and she thinks, well, why are we talking about the apostrophe in the first place? Uh, we're not. The White House is. Millions, in fact, perhaps the majority of Americans feel the exact same way that you do. That, like, honestly, this does not matter to their vote. Yeah. I think the reason why a lot of Harris aides I talked to last night were very frustrated is because they felt like she delivered an incredible speech. Yeah. It was like a great Absolutely. backdrop, a huge, excited crowd. And then, uh, and why was Joe Biden even on the Zoom at this exact time? Like, why, why even like risk yeah. it? That, and I think that's the real frustration. And that, my dear sir is the real question. Joe Biden is irrelevant. No one cares what he thinks, what he has to say about any one given topic is immaterial. He's done. He is a lame duck. Y you are irrelevant. Why in heaven's name are you doing any television, Zoom, any meeting while the person that's actually running for your office is in your backyard doing her last summation? <laughs> why are you even talking, Joe? Seriously, why are you even talking? 
and by the way, she's he's doing this at the exact same time as she's doing a rally. So of course, somebody's going to pay attention to him because he's still the sitting president, but he's an irrelevant president. That's the question. Not whether or not there's an apostrophe on the garbage, not whether or not he was actually talking about Trump's. I mean, you know that he was talking about Trump supporters. If you saw if you saw the clip that I just played, you know that's exactly what he was talking about. He was talking about you. That's not the question. The bigger question is, why is he doing an interview at that specific time in, in the first place? Joe, why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I think he's doing it. Imagine you were the one who told Barack Hussein Obama you don't want her in the first place. You, you told everyone, I don't want her. Jill hated her. That so-and-so called me a racist in front of the entire world. You want me to run with her? Yes, you're going to run with her, Joe. And then, <laughs> only to be booted and replaced by the person you never wanted in the first place. And to add insult to injury, to watch her campaign implode, knowing mm, you would have been better. Which, by the way, is perfectly, it. it I think he would have been better. See, most people didn't know how dismal calamity us was. They thought that she was, she's a superstar. Can't everybody feel the joy? It's like, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm petrified that she can ever, even get close to the White House. That's the only question that should be asked by everyone. An irrelevant statesman is upstaging the person that took his place <laughs> while she's doing her, her summation, her closing argument. I mean, come on. And by the way, it, it, you would say, well, you know, still, maybe it, maybe it was impromptu. Um, Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. That's not impromptu. They got the scene set up. He's all dressed up. He's got their American flag on his lapel. This is it. What are you talking about? He's He's been waiting for this. I mean, he's suited and booted. It wasn't impromptu. Now, that would be one argument. Well, I was walking around and uh, somebody asked me something. That, uh, mm -mm. Somebody scheduled this. Be, be, I'm only saying that someone scheduled it because he got ready. He was ready to go on television. He was ready to do this Zoom thing. Why do you think he's doing that? I think he's butthurt. I think he's mad about, I think he's mad at everybody. Nancy, Chuck, uh, uh, Barack. I think he's mad at everybody. And by the way, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> I'm irrelevant. This is, by the way, do they, well, Stu, I mean, maybe it's just a coincidence. This is not the first time he did this. When she was doing a rally, he showed up at the press release. At, uh, I'm sorry, at, at, in the uh, briefing room in front of the press secretary. He just shows up automatically. Nobody even knew he was coming. So what do you think is going to happen with the media? It's going to divert attention from Kamalama and people are going to be uh, pay attention to, to Joe Biden. Because, you know, for all practical intents and purposes, he's still the president. I mean, he still has the office, but he's irrelevant. That's my question. Joe, why did you why did you okay this? Why did your people okay this? 
Do you not know that there is a rally going on right behind you? I think he's ticked. I think he's ticked. And I think, I, I really do believe this. I think he wants Trump's to win. I think he wants them because he knows what's going to happen if he does. There's going to be buyer's remorse. And he's going to be able to look at you and say, I told you so. All right, that's it for now. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please, baby, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.